So we get a, a lot of phone calls uh, about air conditioners being frozen. Uh, in fact, uh, a friend had sent me a video uh, last week of his air conditioner being frozen, and he didn't know what was going on. Uh, you know, we think these things cool the house down, so ice is a good thing, right? Well, we want certain temperatures to happen in certain places at certain times. And if you come outside and the lines on the uh, the unit are frozen, you see ice building up around here. If you look down inside and you see ice building up, if you walk inside your furnace and you see the lines going that, they're frozen up, uh, you have an issue. And the issue is likely that it's low in refrigerant. Could be a couple other causes, but if you see this is frozen, that's frozen. If you see physical ice anywhere on either component, it's definitely time to call uh, an HVAC professional. Um, what these units do is not produce ice. This unit, in a nutshell, it, it takes heat from inside your home, brings it out here and releases it and continues that cycle. When we get low on refrigerant, things happen in here that aren't supposed to happen. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about it as far as fixing it. Uh, first step would be to call your HVAC professional, uh, get them out to the house. But what you can do is you can go in your thermostat and you can shut the cooling off and you can turn your furnace fan on. What you'll do by doing that is you'll stop this outside unit from running. You'll give it a chance for that ice to thaw out. And by running the fan on the air handler of the furnace, that will help to melt the ice inside the building. It'll also help to start draining that away. When an HVAC tech comes out, he's not going to be able to do anything if this is frozen or the inside's frozen. We need to thaw that out. Uh, still call them, get them scheduled to come out there right away, but definitely shut it off so we stop producing ice, get the fan on so we melt the ice and that that water drains away. The fan also does a second thing. If the indoor coil is covered in ice and we let it just thaw naturally without the fan, it's a good chance that water can cause property damage depending on where your unit's located. So by the fan blowing it, evaporating it, hopefully guiding it towards the drain, you stand a better chance of avoiding property damage. I don't want to say it's zero, though. If it's up in an attic, you should monitor it. Uh, even if it's in a basement, you should get some towels and stuff around it to be prepared as that ice melts off that unit and might not all make it into the drain.